Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses and we're going on with this beautiful book More Than a Horseman which is a collection of stories about the life and work of Tom Dorrance put together by his wife Margaret Dorrance and John St Ryan. Today's story comes from Ava Johnson. When Margaret asked me to write about Tom, at first I thought, hmm, daunting task, but I would try. It should be okay, since Tom is the greatest horseman and there would be so much to say. It would be great. Yeah, right, until I started to type. I quickly realised the whole thing turned out to be about me, what I learned, what I saw and what I felt. So I thought, this is horrible. This writing is not about Tom, but about me and my experiences with Tom. But my truth about Tom is, that's exactly Tom. <laughs> when I was with Tom, he made everything about me and my horse. He could show me where I was with my horse and where my horse was not with me. His incredible awareness of the life around him his powers of observation, memory and ability to actualise, along with kindness, made him extraordinary. He could connect me to my horse and my horse to me, no matter how confused, frightened or insecure either one of us felt. It always ended softly, quietly and happily, for a while anyway. Left on my own, things would change. After spending time with Tom, I realised I needed to watch the horses, learn and think on my own how to make the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. Feel, timing and balance. Ask and support. Set it up and let them find it. Create a situation so there is nowhere on earth my horse would rather be than with me. And that's how I felt when I was with Tom. It's hard to put into words or rules about how he would help a person or a horse because it always depended on what was happening at that particular time. But with Tom, it seemed there was never an always do and never a never do. He knew the essence of what needed to be communicated and had exact and precise ways to express it. There were times it was a whisper and I would miss it, but it was obvious the horse heard loud and clear. The time he shared with me and the fact that Margaret was so generous with her husband is precious. It's one of my fondest memories and the joy will last a lifetime. I guess one of the many lessons could be called awareness. But don't get me wrong, I'm not close to the awareness level of Tom Dorrance, but because of him, I am aware that true unity can occur when we make it about the needs of others, our families, friends and our horses. So I try to present myself in a way that's meaningful to others. Like Tom said, the first thing I do is try to get with my horse. I miss him. Beautiful. It's, I love the how he was so amazing with horses and with people, you know? I think those two things, they go so perfectly hand in hand. And when you see these people that are really great with horses, they also have a great way with um, people and all beings. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time.